Olá a todos, bem-vindos. Meu nome é Leonardo, eu sou do time da Doxity e é um prazer receber vocês hoje para essa conversa, que vai ser uma grande oportunidade para a gente conhecer a, as, as soluções e, e serviços da People and Horizon. É, hoje a gente vai poder, hoje a gente vai descobrir um pouco mais sobre três universidades, três grandes universidades italianas e, além disso, a oportunidade de interagir com pessoas que trabalham lá e descobrir mais sobre sobre a vida universitária, sobre a rotina de estudos, as oportunidades de, de carreira que, que essas universidades oferecem. É, vou aproveitar o tempo, vou aproveitar para é, deixar mais gente chegar e lembrar todo mundo que a gente tem uma, um espaço aberto de perguntas e respostas, que durante as discussões vocês podem ficar à vontade de, de mandar suas perguntas é, nesse chat e no, no, no final de todas as apresentações a gente traz essas perguntas para os palestrantes. Mais uma, uma notificação, é, a gente está tá falando em português aqui, é, como essa apresentação, apesar disso a apresentação vai ser feita em inglês, é, mas fiquem à vontade para escrever a pergunta é, na língua que vocês quiserem, porque a gente pode fazer essa tradução e, e tocar a partir daí. Bom, só dando mais uns minutinhos, estou vendo que já tem um pessoal chegando, bem-vindos. É... Bem-vindo, bem João. Ah, acho que a gente já pode continuar, começar, né, Paulo? Vamos começar com o Paulo, Paulo Henrique, que é o representante da People and Horizons. É... O espaço é seu. Bem-vindo. Paulo, a gente não está te ouvindo, você está no mundo. Muito obrigado por recordar, Leonardo, muito obrigado pela introdução. Então, eu gostaria de agradecer e dar as boas-vindas a todos esses participantes do primeiro webinar Study in Italy, promovido pela People and Horizons, em colaboração com a Doc City. Pois bem, hoje nós vamos tratar aqui de um tema muito, que gera muito, muita curiosidade, que é o tema da mobilidade, é o tema da mobilidade estudantil internacional. Eu vou colocar aqui para vocês a tela inteira, de forma que vocês possam acompanhar. Está tudo certo aí? Muito obrigado, Leonardo, pelo feedback. Ótimo. Pois é, gente, eu estava dizendo que hoje nós vamos trabalhar, nós vamos falar sobre o tema da mobilidade estudantil internacional. É um tema que a gente sabe que gera muita curiosidade. E para nós, aqui da People and Horizons, esse é um tema que vai muito além da, dos muros da universidade. É um tema rico, intenso, é uma experiência, uma vivência que de fato é um dos mais belos percursos, talvez, da escola da vida. Pois bem, um percurso tão rico, tão intenso como esse, não vem tão facilmente. Para conquistá-lo, a gente precisa, de fato, superar uma série de desafios. E nós, aqui da People and Horizons, hoje vamos responder, junto com os demais colegas, a seguinte pergunta, é possível alcançar o nosso tão sonhado intercâmbio ou a universidade no exterior, superando esses desafios, sem estresse? Pois bem, a nossa resposta é sim. E a gente sabe disso e afirma com tanta categoria, com tanta clareza, é porque nós já estivemos no seu lugar. Então... Para explicar um, um pouco melhor essa história, eu gostaria de compartilhar com vocês um pouco da minha trajetória. A minha história começa em 2008, após uma série de é, frustrações profissionais. Eu estava com a vida um pouquinho buscando explorar novos, novos ares. E eu decidi fazer uma coisa por mim. Eu decidi que me concederia um Réveillon no Rio de Janeiro. Eu, que sou originário de Belo Horizonte, cheguei na cidade maravilhosa e pude encontrar aquela geografia, cultura, 
áreas internacionais, gente falando diferentes línguas, um patrimônio histórico maravilhoso, e trouxe de volta para Belo Horizonte talvez uma, uma das sementinhas mais importantes da minha vida, a curiosidade de explorar novos ares. Esse foi um fator marcante na minha vida. Mas, poucos dias depois, aconteceu ainda um outro fato muito curioso, que foi uma misteriosa ligação de uma multinacional importante de Belo Horizonte, que, através do seu Departamento de Recursos Humanos, me ofereceu uma oportunidade. Me disseram, Paulo, estamos promovendo um programa de mobilidade estudantil para estudar na Itália. Você se interessa? E foi aí que eu conectei o meu desejo de melhorar na carreira, de expandir os meus ares, com a curiosidade e com a oportunidade e acabei decidindo mergulhar nessa aventura. Arrumei a minha documentação, pedi demissão do meu emprego, despedi da minha família, dos meus amigos e vim para a Itália. Me planejei minuciosamente antes da partida. Dediquei ao máximo para poder aprender novas línguas. Mas chegando aqui, eu pude perceber que todo aquele planejamento não foi o suficiente para poder superar uma série de obstáculos. E foi nessa, nessa trajetória que, durante o meu percurso universitário, eu tive que começar a buscar uma fonte de renda extra para poder manter os meus estudos. E foi aí que eu entrei em contato com uma, o primeiro trabalho que eu fiz, que foi dar aula de português, e logo, logo em seguida, eu passei a ajudar os brasileiros com é, questões burocráticas aqui na Itália. Então, foi dentro desse processo que eu pude ajudar centenas de pessoas a superarem esse desafio de integração, que eu descobri uma das minhas paixões, que é esse de ajudar as pessoas a conhecer e a viver de uma forma um pouco mais serena na Itália. Hoje, eu vivo aqui há 14 anos, já sou pai de dois filhos e é, fundei a People and Horizons, que é essa agência que vai ajudar você a realizar o seu sonho. Com a People and Horizons, nós vamos seguir três passos, basicamente. Então, o primeiro é o da decisão. É onde vocês vão explorar todas as opções e oportunidades, estratégias para poder facilitar essa partida. Uma vez tomada a decisão, a gente chega ao nosso segundo passo, que é a aprovação. Portanto, o contato com a universidade, a preparação dos documentos. E, por fim, uma vez tendo sido aprovados, nós vamos explorar a integração, que são todos aqueles serviços úteis, como hospedagem, é, serviços financeiros de comunicação, que vão efetivamente permitir a autonomia de vocês no, teu, no, no território italiano. Então, agora nós falamos, o seu momento chegou e vamos te ajudar a deixá-lo especial. Contem com a People and Horizons para poder tornar esse seu momento um momento mágico. Mas, Paulo, está tudo muito bem, mas por que especialmente agora? E, e por que especial a Itália? Falar da Itália é muito fácil. A gente sabe que, além da, 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 da cultura italiana muito rica, é, a gastronomia, a arte, a história, o estilo de vida, a segurança, a Itália hoje vive um momento muito especial, que é o um momento de recuperação da pós-pandemia, em que foi muito impulsionada e, portanto, aquelas pessoas que optarem em estudar aqui agora se beneficiarão dos desdobramentos desses investimentos que a Itália está desenvolvendo. E, naturalmente, serão aquelas pessoas que poderão se tornar os protagonistas, obviamente, em fazer uma ponte, até mesmo entre o Brasil e a Itália, diante desses investimentos. 
Então, para começar o nosso primeiro passo na jornada da People in Horizons, hoje nós vamos conhecer três universidades. Que é a Universidade de Ciência Gastronômica de Polenzo, a Escola Italiana de Hospitalità e a Luz de Roma. Então, o primeiro participante que vai ilustrar as opções e as estratégias para você é o meu colega Paulo Ferrarini. Paulo, thanks for joining us here today. You're very welcome. The floor Thank you, Paulo. is yours. Please, go so, ahead. Okay. So, thank you, everyone, to be here. My name is Paolo Ferrarini. I am the communication manager at the University of Gastronomic Sciences. I hope that you will be able to understand my English because sometimes I don't understand myself too. So, I hope that you will be able. So, I'm going to share very quick a presentation of the university. I don't know if you can see it. So please uh, tell me. Yes, thank you, Leonardo. So the university uh, was founded in 2004 by the Slow Food Movement. Um, Slow Food Movement is an international movement that uh, born more or less 40 years ago. And uh, the philosophy of the movement that then became the philosophy also of the university is that the food has to be good, clean and fair. Good means that the food has to give to everyone pleasure. So we have to eat the good food. Clean probably is the most important item right now because of climate change. Clean means that who produce food has to produce it without giving problems to the environment. And fair means that who produce food has to be paid the right amount of money. So food has, is related to everything. And uh, the university was uh, the first one university uh, entirely dedicated uh, to food. It's still uh, the first and the unique university entirely dedicated to food also because we are a very, very small university. We are based in Piedmont, so north of Italy and uh, uh, near Turin. So I have to be more fast, I check. We are an international university. All our uh, courses are taught in English. Uh, every year we have more or less 100, 120 visiting professors from all around the world. We organize uh, Uh, between uh, 100 and 150 study trips. Then I'm going more in deep about the study trips uh, every year. And uh, so far we have uh, more than 3,200 students uh, basically from all over the world, as you can see. Um, I don't remember exactly the number, but uh, from 2004 to now, we had more than 50 Uh, students from Brazil, uh, and one of them uh, three or four years ago, she is very famous. Uh, she is the daughter of uh, Gilberto Gil. Uh, her name is uh, Bella Gil, that uh, I know that is uh, very, very famous uh, in Brazil. So she did uh, a master uh, three, four years ago in, um, in our university. So uh, we uh, don't teach. Uh, like frontal lectures. I mean, there are also frontal lectures, but uh, what we think is that uh, uh, the most uh, um, important thing to learn when you are here is also to learn from practice. Uh, moreover, as I told you before, for us, food, and not just for us, is connected to everything. So if you will come here, you are going to study from history everything related to food, to economy, from agronomy, uh, to law, from anthropology, to aesthetics, because everything uh, is uh, connected uh, to one of the things that make us to survive, that is obviously food. Uh, Hands-on training. So we have uh, an academic tables that is a cafeteria, a canteen, Uh, where also students can practice, even if we don't train chef. We have a Polenzo Food Lab that is not just uh, um, 
uh, like uh, a cooking uh, area, but uh, is more about it. Uh, we, um, with the students, practice fermentation, baking, cooking, and so on. And we have a sensor analysis lab. Um, moreover, we have, I think, uh, the most important library in Italy for sure about food because we have more than 27. Uh, thousand books uh, right now that everything related to food in our library plus a connection uh, with the online library and an educational garden where students can practice and can see also that uh, the production of food is related obviously to seasonality. Uh, study trips. Each course has uh, from two to five study trips, depending on the course. So what means study trips? Study trips, first of all, are included in the fee. And study trips, we think that students has to talk, to touch and to eat the food where it is produced. So we organize the study trips from one week to 12 days in Italy, in Europe, and I hope starting from next year, to be able to restart outside the Europe because with pandemia, obviously we have to stop everywhere and we restarted this year in Italy and in Europe and students meet producer, meet artisan, uh, um, artisanal uh, farmer, uh, restaurant uh, manager, uh, uh, chef in the place where they produce and they uh, serve this food and they eat, they talk, they can uh, directly see what happened in an area of the world that is different from there and obviously different of also from Piedmont. Uh, so what we are looking for and what uh, uh, students become after graduate uh, to our uh, university. First of all, uh, all our students are obsession, not just passionate about food. Uh, they will become uh, and they have became uh, in the past excellent communicators. We have uh, some of them, uh, except uh, Bella Gilles, that she was already famous before coming in our university, but we had um, several influencers that became influencers after attending our university. Uh, a gastronomer. Uh, so that uh, the name of uh, the, the students that then graduate, uh, that's the name that we call them gastronomies, uh, are people that uh, are really all around knowledge of everything that is related to food. Uh, what they are doing now, our um, alumni, most of them work in marketing, communication, management, or in uh, in sales and commerce. But as you can see in the slide, they have also different, different activities, for example, in education, in food consultancy, or in production. Because uh, I repeat, we don't train chefs. We train people that can work in food in different sections. These are some examples of our uh, uh, gastronomies. Uh, there is uh, one that uh, became the curator of two of the most important guide of food uh, in Italy. Another one that worked with Lavazza. Lavazza, I guess that uh, all of you know, is the most important uh, uh, coffee uh, factory here in Italy, but one of the most important in, um, uh, in the world. We have uh, also some of them, some of uh, our former students that work uh, in uh, NGO or GO that are related to food as Anna Marino. I have to go on, otherwise uh, I'm not uh, finishing in time. So moreover, uh, we are strictly connected with uh, companies that support the university. You can see now the 35 companies that support the university, but not just support the university, but also are the first uh, uh, company that we contact for internship or for students that are searching job. These are big companies, but we have all um, many, many connections with small and medium companies, obviously. This is a very uh, list of our 
courses, so undergraduate, graduate, and master, but you can find easily all of them in our website. I had just two things. We have also summer school. Uh, this year, one is about bread, another one is about science in the kitchen, it's about wine. Everything will be very explained in the website if you are interested in one of the summer school class. We launched uh, last year a um, mock uh, massive open online platform that is called UNIS Plus. Right now there are two courses. One is uh, uh, History of Italian Cuisine and the other one is Behind the Cup of uh, Coffee. But uh, we are launching this year other five or six uh, online courses that you can find in this uh, uh, platform that is called UNIS Plus. I think that my time is uh, finished, so I end now. Thank you. Thank you very much, Paolo. Um, we all do respect to the world cuisine. For sure, Italy is the best place to learn about food. So pretty, very, very interesting. And having Belgium as a veteran, it uh, might be a great experience for any Brazilians, for any Brazilian. So very, very cool. Thank you so much. Uh, lembrar a todo mundo que quem quiser mandar perguntas é, em português ou em inglês, fica à vontade para usar o nosso chat ou o nosso canal de perguntas e a gente vai juntar essas perguntas no final e endereçá-las aos palestrantes. É, o nosso, a próxima pessoa a se apresentar vai ser a Isabel Barbiero, da SEO. Uh, so, Isabel... Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Isabel Barbiero. Uh, I deal with communication and marketing of Scuola Italiana di Ospitalità. Uh, today, I have the pleasure of meeting you and presenting our educational offer. So let me share the screen with you so we can start with our presentation. Just a moment. Did you see it? I see it, but it's not full screen. Okay. There's a... Perfect. Okay, yes. Okay. Uh, we are Italian School of Hospitality. Uh, a few words about the school. Uh, the school is created in partnership with Casta Depositi Prestiti, uh, which is an investment bank of the Italian government. Um, it is created in collaboration with Tiaca Resort, uh, which is the important company of hotels and villages located in Italy. Uh, our school cooperates with Ca Foscari University uh, to attract students from all over the world and trying to teach them the Italian model of hospitality, uh, which is an, an excellence known internationally. Uh, to get into the educational offer, uh, we want to give you an overview of the context in which we operate. Uh, starting from the impact of tourism industry in Italy. Uh, I want to start with a question. Uh, the question is uh, why students study hospitality in Italy? Uh, I don't know if you guys were wondering uh, this question before joining uh, the presentation of our school. Uh, anyway, the answer is simple. Um, the advantage is studying hospitality um, in a city where there are plenty of uh, hospitality companies and related business. Um, to quote a few numbers, uh, in Italy, hospitality um, accounts for 13% of our GDP. And also we have more than 43,000 hotels and more than 1 million of rooms. Um, as well as many organizations managing tourists. 
and without considering that Italy is the fifth country in the world for international tourist arrivals. Uh, looking at the present from coronavirus uh, originated new values in hospitality education. Uh, for instance, the value of authenticity of the destination, because the experience uh, nowadays uh, need to be uh, designed around the customer. The value of the emotional intelligence, uh, which means um, understanding the guests and give them the response they expect. And also the value of regionality. So the proximity tourism uh, as an opportunity to revalue Italy. And that's why we decided to focus on the hospitality education, uh, supporting the new skills uh, which are required from, from the modern industries in hospitality. Um, for this reason, our school is based on the international model of hotel school. Uh, the hotel school combines uh, lectures with an internship program in hospitality company. Uh, the aim of the school is to try to train professionals, uh, which will be able to face the challenges uh, of the hospitality industry. Uh, thanks to the collaboration with many public and private institutions of the tourism ecosystem. Uh, this active involvement of important partners of the tourism sector. Um, these partners are CDP, Club Med, Hilton, and many other hotel chains. This active involvement provides support in the planning process of our educational offer. Uh, here we present our educational offer, uh, which includes a bachelor degree and a flex executive program. Uh, our bachelor degree of three years in hospitality innovation and e uh, follows a learning by doing methodology. Uh, which means uh, theoretical classes plus a work experience uh, through internships, because we want that students enter the labor market through internships and immediately after graduation. Uh, courses will be held in English, and the program provides a skill set that you need for the digital and the hotel management. So you will be trained in financial management and digital skills. Learn also the social and cultural aspects of tourism. And also you will have the opportunity to study a second European language. Uh, students, will be ready to forge a professional career at modern hospitality companies um, in all of their departments. So marketing, communication, uh, guest relation, management, um, as well as working at destinations, organization, and also public bodies connected with tourism. Um, the strong internship program uh, provides a deep dive in the hospitality sector through um, a work experience to do in the first, in the second, and in the third year, uh, offering growing responsibilities, starting with operation in the first year, supervising activities in the second year, and assisting management in the third year. The internships could be in Italy or abroad. Uh, we collaborate with many luxury hotel chains as Club Med, Bauer, Hilton, and Tiaka Resorts, which are the most important industry companies in hospitality. Uh, the bachelor degree uh, will start in September. And to our role is required a B2 certificate of English and also an high school diploma. 
the enrollment procedure for international students um, takes several steps. And at the top, we have naturally the request of a residency permit to study in Italy. And the other key point is taking um, an entry test, uh, which is based on logical and math reasoning. And also uh, about the tuition fee, the tuition fee is 6,000 euros per year. Uh, the school provides also an executive program in hotel management, which is in incorporation U.S. Business School. Of uh, the executive program is designed for those who want uh, to update their uh, managerial preparation. Uh, we want to prepare, prepare uh, dynamic experts in the hotel industry. Uh, for this reason, um, the aim of the course is preparing students from, from a strategic and commercial management of the hotel activities. And so we provide them a skill set uh, to be spent immediately on the job. Again, here we focus on a practical approach uh, that puts into practice what has been learned during the classes in order to dive into the functions of hotel management. Uh, the executive program lasts four months and it is divided in two didactic formats. A core program, which is held online, and two specialization courses in present in Florence. Uh, the specialization courses last three days and offer the possibility of a deep dive in a specific subject. The first one is in gastronomy and food and beverage. And the second one is luxury hospitality. Specialization courses are face-to-face um, -face lessons, uh, masters and didactic visits um, with the contribution of professional experts and also entrepreneurs uh, who will talk about the, um, the new opportunities and offers uh, in order to have an overview of the sector of the specializations and put into practice the skills set uh, immediately in your job career. Uh, this is our educational offer, uh, the educational offer of our school. And if you have any question, uh, we have the pleasure to reply you in the last minutes and you can also save our contact for any question by email or WhatsApp. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Isabel. Uh, I want to remind everyone that this is um, a recorded session. So everyone that is attending here today will have access to a recording so you can watch later on in case that you miss something or if you want to uh, get the contacts or anything. So it, it will be available uh, right after. Um, sounds like that we were able to uh, put together a lot of Italian strengths here. First, we thought about we talked about food. Then we talked about tourism. It was very nice to learn that Italy was one of the uh, top countries on the on that market. And of course, learning uh, learning uh, those subjects in in in, in a country like that, uh, it can only improve your chances of being more relevant to the market. So it was very interesting. Thank you for sharing. Um, lembrar mais uma vez a todo mundo que quem tiver perguntas para qualquer um dos, pane do, dos, dos palestrantes pode mandar a pergunta do nosso, na, na nossa área dedicada para perguntas e respostas que a gente vai juntar essas perguntas e endereçá-las no final da, da apresentação our next uh, talk will come, I mean, our next, our next talker will be Sara Covato welcome Sara from uh, Luis University Welcome. Thank you, Leonardo, for introducing me and uh, hello, everyone. It is a pleasure for me to be here today. As Leonardo already mentioned, I work at the International Orientation Office at Lewis University. Uh, I will now share my screen so I can uh, show you a little bit more about uh, our university. 
So we move to another uh, kind of field, uh, very different from the one that we saw so far. Uh, Lewis is a top private university specializing in social sciences. Um, we are a relatively small uh, university in a global city. Uh, we have very strong connection with the city and with the territory, uh, thanks to not only our partnership with Confindustria, which is the Italian Confederation for uh, the Entrepreneurship in the, in the country and the companies, but also uh, with the governmental institution and uh, the civil society. For this reason, uh, our location is crucial to us because it allows us to um, give like a direct connection uh, to our students from what they're studying to their career outcome and their uh, future. Um, of course, uh, we will take a, a look in detail at what Louis exactly is. Starting from the rankings, uh, clearly for uh, students, especially for international ones and their families, it is extremely important to understand where a university is positioned. So uh, we will start by the first ranking, which is El Sole 24 Ore. This is an Italian journal specializing in finance, and they have ranked us as number one in Italy. Uh, now we will take a look at the most famous one, probably, which is the QS World University rankings that this year uh, ranked us at the uh, 22nd position uh, in the whole world for the Department uh, of Political Science. Uh, and this is something that makes us really happy also because um, a really good number of the Italian diplomatic boards members uh, were former Lewis students. So this uh, uh, gives us some kind of uh, um, recognition for this kind of tradition that we have. Uh, then, of course, we will uh, move to the Department of Business and Management with two different rankings. Number one, uh, the ECRI certification, which uh, is a very hard certification to get, uh, symbolizing the high quality of the teaching method. And uh, the Financial Times that ranked us in the 70th position in the world for the same department. Now you are international students, so it might be extremely important for you to learn uh, what is the level of internationalization uh, of the university. Well, uh, the U Multi Rank 2018 ranking uh, gives you a hint about um, about this uh, uh, this topic, and we will take a look at that after. And last but not least. Um, uh, the ranking related to the average gross annual salary that the students have compared to uh, students from other Italian university. We are at the third place out of 40. Some numbers. Uh, specializing in social sciences means that we have uh, uh, four departments. One for economics and finance, one for business and management, one for political science, and one for uh, law. Um, we are a medium-sized university with about 10,000 students, uh, but the best thing is that despite the small number, um, we are a truly multicultural environment with, six, with 69 different nationalities. Um, also, our students are always very happy to be a uh, part of this university uh, because they are guided in every step of their academic path, thanks to the mm, very low uh, professor-student ratio with one professor every uh, seven students. And this, of course, translates into a non-existent abandonment rate. We have 54 uh, double degree programs and structured exchanges and 309 agreement with other universities. This means that you already are international students, but you can uh, like bring your experience to the next level in terms of multiculturality and uh, internationalization. Uh, these are some of the services that we give to our students. Uh, of course, we will not take a, a look at them singularly, uh, but just for you to, to have a hint. Um, we, uh, of course, take 
a real care for what concerns the uh, support to international students for visas and residence permits and the housing service. Um, in the case of Brazilian students, you are literally moving from the other side of the world. You, we have an ocean uh, between the, the two countries. So it is naturally hard for you to think about finding a house but we are there for you. So uh, I wouldn't worry too much about that. And the same applies for uh, the didactical uh, aspect. So uh, with tutoring service, buddy programs and counseling. And last but not least, the Italian language courses. Um, clearly, many Brazilian students uh, have Italian roots. So this is the right place for you to connect with that exact roots. And these are uh, the marvelous campus, which will be your home, uh, Viale Romania, Viale Pola, and uh, Via Parenzo. Uh, this will be uh, accessible for you at any moment. So uh, even though your department is in Via Parenzo, if you prefer to go to Viale Pola for its gardens, you can do that as well. Uh, why not? And now we will take a look at the academic offer. So uh, this is the uh, academic offer related to the bachelor's program. Uh, the courses that are displayed here are taught fully in English and they have the duration of three years. As you can see, um, the courses that we offer are uh, like up to date with the job market and the challenges required from, uh, from this one. So you will be able to find exactly what you are looking for. And then uh, the best part is that for any course displayed here, you have a structured exchange or um, like a double or triple degree program that you can apply to. Uh, the offer for the master's degree is divided into the residential programs and the digital programs. Uh, this last uh, two programs, the ones that you see here, are our novelty for uh, the next academic year. So for those of you who would like to study uh, at a high quality Italian university, but do, do not want to travel for any reason, it can be professional or personal, um, this is the, uh, the perfect fit for, uh, for your needs. The admission requirements. So uh, uh, for the residential programs, the um, applications will close next week. So you better run if you uh, would like to, to join us. Uh, but um, no rush because the process is pretty simple. Uh, you will need to present some documents like your recent academic transcript, the certificate of the English language, and uh, of course, the uh, email address of a sponsoring professor, meaning that can give a reference uh, on you. For the digital program, uh, we will need you to upload the same exact documents, but the process is slightly different as you will have to sit for a test and an interview held in the English language. These are our uh, contacts. Uh, you uh, are invited to follow us on our social media pages. And this is the International Orientation and Programs email. While this is my email, you can reach out to me uh, because I am the person responsible for the orientation of the students coming from uh, South America. So uh, feel free to reach me out and uh, thank you for uh, your attention. All right, thank you, Sara. Um, yeah, it was, a, it, it was a very interesting offer um, and very interested, I mean, very interested to know the, the ranks that you show in the beginning. Uh, so yeah, all Italian forces put together in the same place. Uh, it was very nice to see. Thank you for that. Um, bom, pessoal, essa foi, essa foi a nossa última palestrante. É, a gente vai usar esse momento agora para fazer as perguntas que vocês mandaram para a gente. Não está fechado ainda. Se vocês quiserem mandar mais perguntas, fiquem à vontade. Uh, so, right now, we're going to address the questions that the users sent us. Uh, the, the first question is actually not addressed to anyone specifically. So, you all can uh, reply according, according to your reality. Fabian is asking us if, uh, if, if he needs to, if the student needs to speak Italian to, to be on the courses, to apply for the courses. Uh, so I would like to, to go first. 
Uh, so, uh, no, you do not need to speak Italian uh, as the institution is fully bilingual. So, if you decide to apply for an English thought course, then you not that you do not need uh, to speak Italian. The English language requirement, though, that is mandatory for a B2 level. Okay, from okay. the Italian School of Hospitality, you do not need to speak in Italian because the entire course is in English language. For the University of Gastronomic Sciences, all the courses are in English, but bear in mind that the second and the third year of the undergraduate course, uh, some courses, some lectures, uh, or better, most of them will be in Italian. So you have one year in case to learn Italian with our support because we provide around 100 hours, if I remember correct, of Italian language for foreigners. So they will be able then to follow or to attend also the classes in Italian, the second and the third year. But all the other courses, the graduate degree and the master programs are taught in English. And I can add to that uh, from my experience. And I, and besides, uh, besides, I have uh, lived with uh, dozens of Brazilians who come uh, who came from Brazil with me as um, students. Uh, the amount of hours that Paulo just mentioned is uh, more than enough for you to learn uh, the Italian and live perfectly and integrate in the society. And, uh, and I believe that is one of the most amazing uh, experiences because it's also a part of uh, discovering this um, beautiful culture. And in addition, you, you leave with the third language, right? So it's a win-win situation. So Fabian, I hope we have uh, answered your question. If not, please just pop up another one and we'll be uh, happy to, to reply you. So the second question comes from an anonymous uh, participant, but he, he or she is asking about uh, scholarship opportunities. What, what type of scholarship uh, are, are being offered for Brazilian students on your university? Um, so I will answer uh, for uh, Luis University. So the kind of scholarships that we offer are merit-based. Uh, this means that the students are evaluated based on their academic background and based on the decision of the admissions committee that is made uh, of admissions officers and professors. They can obtain uh, a scholarship which can be either partial, either full. Um, but then in any case, uh, if they couldn't get the merit-based scholarship for any reason, they still can get the regional government one uh, that allows them to uh, receive the full exemption from the fees and also some money for uh, their allowance. Okay, thank you. Okay, in our Italian School of Hospitality, scholarships are available and they can help to reduce the tuition fee because the tuition fee is um, about 6,000 euro per year. So the scholarship are available in the um, uh, University of Kaposkari website. Okay, also at the UNISC, we have a scholarship uh, are basically full, most of them. And uh, to get uh, them uh, the first year for the graduate and the graduate uh, on the economic uh, um, amount of money that uh, the student has uh, and to maintain uh, uh, then for the second and third year for the undergraduate and for the graduate for the second year, uh, it will be also value uh, the, the academic uh, uh, progress that uh, you will have so basically the, 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 the vote that you are going to obtain for the master program uh, being just one year uh, it depends on the, the income that uh, the, the prospect students uh, can show to, to, to the committee I see okay so the Okay, let me open here one sec. Okay, so the other question that we have is related to career opportunities. 
um, the, the student wants to know um, how long usually a graduated student from your university is inserted on the marketplace, if, if you have that, that information, if there is such a information. So uh, for Lewis University, we actually have this data available on our website. We have a placement rate of the 94% a year after graduation. So basically, pretty much all the students get an, an internship or a job offer after they graduate. Uh, but this is not all because during the year, we organized several events aimed at helping the students in finding job opportunities like the career fairs. We have two editions every year, one in October and the other one in May, uh, where the students can uh, meet representatives from companies and institutions and have interviews on the spot, but also attend workshops and uh, like receive some kind of counseling from them. Uh, so they are covered in that sense um, here. Great. In our school, students may have uh, a job opportunity within one year after graduation. And job opportunities concern the Department of Tourism and Hospitality Companies. Uh, so the department are marketing, uh, communication, technologies, uh, food and beverage, and also guest relation management, and also opportunities in destination management uh, organization. So students can immediately uh, enter the labor market. So also at UNIS, more than 90% of students find a job or continue to study uh, more or less after one year that they graduate. Basically, it's almost of them uh, find a job uh, uh, behind the first three months. Uh, we have a career center that uh, organizes internship and find job uh, to all students, plus a very strong network of all companies related to food in Italy, but also all around the world. Basically, we have not so many students and not so many alumni because we are a very small university, but we have a strong connection to all or most of our alumni that now work in different companies. And so right now it's easy to find jobs also thanks to word of mouth with them. And as uh, the Lewis, we organize a career fair each year. And uh, right now, exactly in these days, in these three days, we have uh, the career fair where we are, we invited uh, uh, more than 20 companies, not just Italian, but also from uh, United States, two of them, and three are from uh, European countries uh, that uh, not just present themselves uh, as a company to our students, but uh, also organize one-to-one uh, -one, uh, uh, interview for offering jobs to our students. Very interesting. Uh, something to highlight here, at least as my perception, um, the network network building for uh, it's the most important thing. And once once you are inside of those environments, as, as you were just describing for your universities, um, the market the, the marketplace becomes easier once you get to know uh, very talented people as, as your professors, alumni and stuff. So um, very interesting. Thank you. Thanks for sharing it. Um, our next question comes from Israel. Um, is a, it's sort of a, a general question and it's not addressed to any specific university, so I'll open to all of you. He's asking, uh, what, are the, what are the ways to get uh, to enroll? What are the ways to enroll to your university? What, what are the channels to get more information about it? So uh, in case you would like to have more uh, information about the procedures, then uh, I can leave my email afterwards in the chat so you can reach out directly to me. Uh, but in any case, you can find all the information on our website. Depending on the course that you are interested uh, to apply for, you uh, have like the dedicated page and then you will find um, through the international selection button. Uh, all the uh, requirements, all the documents that you need, and the apply here button. So it's pretty simple, actually. 
uh, the enrollment procedure for international students um, takes several steps. Um, at the top, we have uh, naturally the request of a residency permit uh, to study in Italy. Um, the other key point is um, taking an entry test, uh, which is based on logical and math reasoning. And so you have just to sign in the website of a postgrade. Yes, also for uh, us, uh, uh, everything is very well explained in the website. Basically, we ask a dossier by the student. Uh, and so then there will be a commission that we are analyze the dossier, the dossier. And in the meanwhile, uh, our secretary office will help uh, uh, students to get uh, the, the permit of stay because without it, uh, uh, you know, you couldn't come. So everything is very well explained, uh, all the procedure in, uh, in the website. Okay. Um, and, I, and I guess people in Horizons can help you with a lot of, a lot of those information as well. So if you want to centralize your request, uh, or if, if you're not sure yet to which university to go, for sure, people in, in Horizons can help you uh, to make that decision and to help you with the bureaucracy part. Um, we have another question uh, from Maria Eduarda to all, all of you guys. Um, it, it was already addressed in, in some of the presentations, but let's, let's just say again so she, she gets her, her question answered. She's asking us if, if there is any uh, monetary incentive from, to the student, if there's any support to the student to maintain themselves uh, while studying in your university. So as mentioned before, um, if you get the full scholarship, then of course you might have also the room included in some cases. And uh, if not, then uh, if you uh, apply for the regional government scholarship, you definitely get uh, some money for your living expenses. Actually, uh, the amount is up to 5,000 euros per year. Uh, also, we have uh, uh, some supports in the tuition fee if you have a low income. So, yes, there are supports for students. It's also, for us, if you gain uh, the full uh, scholarship, uh, uh, you will be also provided by a room. Uh, and uh, uh, so the accommodation, but also the meals uh, will be covered by the tuition. Plus, uh, as uh, I guess all uh, the other university students uh, uh, find uh, also with our help uh, some uh, jobs that they can do during the weekend or uh, after lectures to, to gain some money. Perfect. Uh, Paolo, I'll, I'll leave the word to you. Well, thank you very much. I'd like also to stress another opportunity that comes from, uh, that starts uh, from this year. And I, I'd like uh, Sara also to stress the uh, online, um, the online uh, modality, uh, which is um, a, a new entry on the portfolio. Please, Sara. Yes, uh, thank you, Paolo. Um, as I mentioned during the presentation, we uh, launched two new digital programs, the Master of Science in Marketing and the Master of Science uh, in Strategic Management. These two programs uh, would seem at first uh, normal online programs, but they are not because they use uh, what we call the own life methodology combined to the inquiry based uh, method of learning. This allows you to benefit from the same uh, degree of interaction that you could have being here in class on campus and also benefit from the flexibility of an online program. These courses have been designed um, with the aim of providing the students, so not only young students but also professionals, 
with uh, a full set of skills and also um, a true kind of uh, knowledge that they can spend in the world of business. And for this reason, Luis decided to use all of its connection and the high quality of its courses to give this opportunity to, to everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, very clear. Leonardo, please. Uh, yes, we have another question. This, this question is addressed uh, to Isabel. Uh, it's a question from Bruno. He, he mentions that he already graduated on law and economy, uh, but he's thinking about uh, changing, changing his career. So his question is, how hospitality and communication uh, mix inside the course, inside you guys' course? Okay, Bruno, uh, you can enroll in the executive program in hotel management. Um, as I told before, this program is in co cooperation with Lewis Business School of Rome. Uh, this executive program is um, designed for those who want to um, update their managerial preparation or for those who has already a degree. And in this um, program, we want to prepare um, dynamic experts in the hotel industry. And so for this reason, the aim of the um, course is preparing students as you uh, for a strategic and uh, commercial management of the um, hotel activities, uh, providing you a skill set uh, to be spent immediately of the job so you can enroll in our FLEX executive program. Okay, thank you. Um, I guess we, yes, I guess we went through all the questions from our users. So I'll switch to Portuguese super quickly. É, gostaria de agradecer a participação de todos os palestrantes e de todos os participantes que assistiram hoje Uh, esse webinar, lembrar para todo mundo que, gente, que por ser uma sessão gravada, é, todo mundo que está participando aqui vai receber um e-mail com um link para poder acessar é, o conteúdo completo dessa conversa, é, e caso tenha perdido alguma coisa, ficou algum detalhe para trás, e encontrar junto desse link também todas as apresentações que foram é, usadas aqui hoje, e os contatos, da, tanto da Sara quanto do Paulo, é, da Isabel, e do Paulo Henrique também. É, once again, thank you very much, Sara, Paulo, Paulo and Isabel, for, for uh, your presentation today. Um, and yeah, here we, we finish our, uh, our stream. Uh, I want to thank you all uh, again, and I see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Obrigado. Obrigado. Tchau. Tchau, tchau, tchau gente. Até a próxima.